Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap, Tuesday, March 9th. Uh, another wild day. Uh, this time ended up on the green side plus 769. So got back a lot of what uh, the market was borrowing from yesterday. But let's go over these trades. I'll show you what happened on the mighty 90 front. 0 for 2, but pretty uh, small winners here. Small loser, excuse me, small losers. Small loser in Apple, minus 47, uh, minus 85 in Facebook. I uh, did a pairs trade in the NASDAQ versus Dow, plus 370. And then on the runners, had a nice uh, winner in Boeing for 626. Beyond Meat got me for a little over 1100. Uh, winner in Lyft for 199. Marvel for 237. Microsoft minus 370. Roku, my biggest winner, plus 1510. And Disney minus 495. So let's take a look at these. I'll show you what happened. Uh, let's start with the Mighty 90s in Apple and Facebook. So first in Apple, Apple, uh, Apple was Apple started to push up, getting some nice volume here. There was actually a lot of trades that were given mighty nines at this point. I chose Apple, uh, and it it pushed up, and it finally started to roll over a little bit, and I ended up just getting out. Didn't get a very good fill. I was actually slightly positive. I was almost getting ready to get out for a profit and then it popped back up on me. I ended up just closing out. So it took basically a scratch minus 47 on Apple. In Facebook, Facebook kind of the same thing. Nice volume pop. Started to roll over but then just pushed higher. I was patient, patient, patient. Added to it right up here at, uh, at yesterday's high and finally got a pullback. And when it started pulling back here, I just closed it out again. Just kind of a small scratch. Uh, minus 85 bucks on that. And then Boeing. All right, so Boeing, I played really well. Uh, obviously, wish you had more size on when you get uh, get the moves you want, but can't complain. Um, you know, I had this big push up. Boeing was staying weak all day. I was I was talking about, you know, if this thing keeps consolidating, stays weak, it may be maybe a prime candidate for a potential continuation down uh, down, because the rest of the market was staying strong and Boeing was staying weak. But then all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. You got some massive spikes in volume. So when it pulled back here, I got long, popped up, got out of some, came back down, got in, popped up, got out of some, got back in, popped up, got out of some. And I was staying super small, but uh, booked 626 bucks. I think I got out of my, out of my last piece. Uh, well, actually, I got out of my last piece right here. I was looking for one more continuation higher, and I was just kind of done for the day. So I just got out of that uh, just a few minutes ago. So. Uh, Bo Boeing plus 626. Beyond Meat, uh, Beyond Meat double whammied me. Um, we were looking for, on this uh, on this push up, this had a nice volume spike. So we're looking for a little bit of a pullback uh, for continuation higher. And this thing just kept pushing, pushing, pushing lower. Uh, finally ended up uh, adding to it when it came down to yesterday's open here. Got a nice bounce, got some back. And then when it just started getting weak again, I just closed that out. Uh, just got... Um, I was, I think my exact words in the room were, I don't want to mess with it. So I just got out and then I uh, got back in when price moved back up again. Looked like it was going to show some strength, massive volume spike. And so I got back in long again and this thing just chopped around, chopped around, chopped around. And so I ended up getting out, taking a loss on that piece as well. So I ended up taking a, a sizable loss on Beyond. A lift, this one was called out in the room by Andrew. We had two Andrews call out trades today, Andrew K, Andrew Gabriel. I believe Lyft was, I can't remember, I think it was Andrew Gabriel. Yes, it was. Okay. So, uh, see, I give credit where credit's due too. I don't just blame people for losing trades. Um, so, in, uh, in Lyft had a big uh, volume spike here. So, on this pop-up, got short, closed most of it out down here, kept one little piece and just kind of chopped around. So, I ended up closing out the last piece around here. Uh, but still booked a winner of 199, and then on Marvel, this was Andrew K. Uh, big volume spike here, so when I just got a little bit of a pullback, got long and caught a nice move up here. I think I got out of my last piece, uh, or I got out of some here as well. And I think I got out of my last piece when it was kept trying to push through the pivot. Ended up just closing it out. Now, I, I could have sat through all this and would have got got a lot more, but uh, I was I was out of it much earlier, so I didn't I didn't have to sit through a lot of that. But still booked a nice winner of two thirty seven. Microsoft minus three seventy. So Microsoft was a little bit of a late bloomer to the party. 
uh, we are looking for an upside continuation out of Microsoft is chopping around. It, it came down, uh, touched uh, yesterday's high, started to bounce. I was close to getting out of half here. Didn't quite get there. Came down, sat through, sat through. And when finally it broke down again, I just, I just ended up closing it out. Now, obviously, like I said, it was kind of a late bloomer with the market being strong. Microsoft wasn't as strong. And so I thought it was probably a good exit. Now, obviously, in hindsight, Microsoft ended up pushing back up. Uh, so it could have been a winner, but got out early. So took a loss on that one. And then Roku played really well. Roku was my biggest winner here. Uh, Roku uh, pushed up and then it started to consolidate. Uh, I think I got in right here on this little pullback to the pivot. Popped up, got out of some, came back down, got in again, got out of some, came back down, got in again, sat through a little heat, and then boom, it really popped up. And uh, that's where we that's where we made our money. So plus fifteen ten there, and then Disney. This was one late in the morning that I took. Uh, this one kind of came out of nowhere, so I ended up giving a little bit of my profit back. I would have been up over a thousand bucks on the day, but uh, I was sitting there, and Disney had been weak all day, but then all of a sudden it just exploded. I just kind of saw this out of the corner of my eye, massive volume spike. So when it started pulling back to this pivot, I got long. Uh, I think we might get a continuation higher, but it just kept bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. And then just started chopping sideways and looked like it was going to potentially go lower. So I just I just cut out and took a loss on that one. So plus 769 on the day. I'll take it uh, for, for quite a while. Uh, quite a wild market. Uh, we'll be back live streaming Wednesday and Thursday. We'll be offline Friday and then uh, Monday of next week. So look forward to seeing you in the room. Talk to you then.